Motivation, do we always have it? I know I certainly don't. There are days where I literally do not want to do anything, do not want to speak, do not just don't want to do anything. Um, it's normal. Um, I'm sure a lot of us have experienced it and you know we feel deflated by it and we feel that we have maybe failed ourselves if we're feeling you know demotivated. Um, but we shouldn't. As I said, it's healthy. You have to have those feelings because you know you're, you're on a high for so long um, and then maybe something slight might go wrong or you know you might as I said not be able to achieve something that you'd set out by that particular time frame and then that just makes you feel you know demotivated so it's normal it's fine we can pick ourselves back up I think it really helps uh, talking to people and just like venting it all out friends family you know just to maybe make yourself feel better maybe they've got some suggestions for you that you can look at things maybe a different light because you know when we're always analyzing ourselves we always look at the negatives more than the positives so it does help when an outsider can you know add in some positives so five tips uh, to stay motivated I'm all for writing things down because I like to have a plan Plan. If I don't have a plan, it will affect my motivation. So again, notebook now, I've got two notebooks. So this notebook is like a day-to-day -day one with the calendar dates in. So I know each day all the things I've got to do. Now it's really great to plan for that week ahead so that you know each day what you're going to do and then at least you've got some time to rearrange things if you have to because as I said sometimes unexpected things could happen on a particular day that you wanted to do something so you know if you've got that week ahead to plan you can you know fit it in instead of just doing it day to day. I also have another book and this book is more like in depth so you know goals that I want to achieve for myself, my short, my medium, my long term goals. Um, so again, I do bounce off the both books um, to make sure that I am on track with both. Um, I just think, as I said, having it written down in front of you, it really helps and it gives you a clearer picture. Also, positive mindset. Sometimes it is hard to stay positive. I know, um, you know, as I said, it, there are times that can you know, that you don't always feel so positive, but if we try to make that effort to focus more on the positives, then obviously it will come a bit more naturally and the negatives will hopefully be erased. Um, as I said, yeah, just real positive mindset. You can do it, you know, no matter what gets thrown at you, you know, there's always going to be a way out. It might not seem like that at first, but eventually there will. You just gotta have some patience, which again, don't always have, but you know, it is something that I obviously, I need to work on as well. And it's something really, as I said, that we all should have because, you know, good things take time. Um, you know, lots of planning, um, as I said, there will be obstacles along the way. So yeah, I think if you just stay in that positive mindset, it will help with your motivation. Visualizing your goals, your progress, your dreams. I think if you just keep visualizing, like I said, we've written them down, we keep looking at them every day, we're working more towards those goals to staying motivated. Um, I do think that helps as well. Um, because as I said, when it's down on paper, especially for me, I know I want to stick to it more. I mean, we can have loads of ideas that are going around in our head but you know sometimes we're like yeah okay and it gets pushed to the back and something else comes you know in its place whereas if it's written down like every day you look at those you can just visualize your goals getting closer and closer also as well acknowledge and recognize and celebrate progress any form of progress it could be the smallest amount but it's still a celebration because it shows that your goals are being achieved that you are sticking to them you are staying motivated you're staying on track um, and like I said, we all love to see progress in whatever forms of life. That does give us, I think, that extra drive and that extra motivation to go even further. Um, so yeah, just a few top tips of how to stay motivated in okay, case some of you are struggling um, and you know sometimes just feel like, what do I do? We all go through it and like I said, I think speaking about it, writing it down, talking to people. Um, I had some, um, some things with work-wise that I wasn't too sure about. I was speaking to a couple of friends about it um, and it really put everything into light, you know? Um, the worries that I had and the stresses were taken away because I was able to take on board what they were saying and the suggestions and they made me see it in more of a positive way because I was, again, focusing so much on the negative. So again, as I said, I think those tips 
hopefully should help. Um, try it and see, you know, everybody has their own forms, their own techniques of doing things, whatever works best for them. But this is something that so easily can be done, as I said, you can get a notebook, a snippet, you know, write stuff down, even post-it notes you can put around so that they're always in view, like in the kitchen, put them on your fridge. You know, just little things that you know you're going to see on a daily basis that's going to give you that extra push and that motivation.